There was a time when people met in bars and clubs. Then along came the internet and people met online. Now all you need is one of these to meet the love of your life or somebody more short term with at least 500,000 users worldwide according to its Los Angeles based owners Grinder, it's become one of the most popular mobile phone dating applications. GPS technology allows gay and bisexual men to find each other and hook up for a date. But Craig Cooper, Community Health Director of the AIDS Council of New South Wales, wants Grindr to take a tougher stance in warning users about the dangers of sexually transmitted infections. If there is any safe sex material that we're currently producing um, around STIs or HIV, then we're wanting to ensure that those campaigns and that advertising and messaging is also going out um, via Grindr as well. The idea has for supporters Scott Abrahams, the editor of Gay Newspaper for Sydney Star Observer. No matter how you, the safe sex message is delivered, as long as it's being delivered where it's needed most, is I think is a perfect, a perfect way of reaching a target audience that may not see it otherwise. But a warning is not popular with everyone, including Grindr user Pete Schneider. No, I really don't think we need warnings about safe sex on Grindr. Like, half the people on there don't even ever meet anybody they talk to. They just use it to see who lives locally. It's entertainment, just like a card game. A statement issued by Grinders Los Angeles-based owners says, We don't allow users to talk about unsafe sex in their public Grinder profiles. We are also exploring the possibility of additional messages with regard to safe sex.